Kia ora. Welcome to Sunday, the 12th of March, 2023. With apologies, I packed all my uh, camera stuff away and I still haven't unpacked it. Um, got a big tidy up and probably over tidied, but anyway, you get shaky cam this time around. Um, I'd probably have done this one in, inside actually, but uh, um, all the dogs are in there and it's just easier to go, go outside for now. Uh, daylight savings kicked in today, so spring forward, we're um, sans one hour for the day. So body clock is going to take a bit to get used to, but um, it means that daylight obviously is going to go a little bit later. Um, so sunset here will be probably around about 7 o'clock, and I think we're looking at 7 to 7, so roughly 12 hour long days. Um, just a bit of an update today on, on power. Um, we got our replacement EG4 battery, Life Power 4. Um, it's arrived, we set that up and working as advertised, which is great. So kind of happy about that. Um, I'd already gotten the, um, there's a dongle that, that um, allows you to monitor what's, what's happening on the inverter and, and battery and stuff like that. Um, so I'd already gotten that up and running. Apparently it, it had been <laughs> tricky for people. But, um, and I can see why, it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit of a pig of an app. But uh, anyway, it's operational, which means we can you know, remotely administrate and, and manage it, um, which is neat. The only thing running off it at the moment is the, um, is the chicken grow heater. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not fully attached. We've got a lot of panels arriving at the end of the month, um, and our plan will be to get those all set up and um, probably operate that as a, as a separate array to, to what we currently have. But a little bit of extra thinking there, but it's, it's not really a problem. So in the original node design, if you remember way, way, way back, the idea was that this was going to be, I guess, the primary node, and um, it was going to provide power to pretty much everything. Um, the inverter was going to do its thing, and and then basically, you know, feed the feed the Delta Pro. Well, perversely, we've got it the other way around at the moment. So because the solar is going into the Delta Pro, um, it's for now, we've, we've basically got that effectively charging up the, acting as the backup generator, if you like, for the, for the EG4. Um, so at some stage, I'll, I'll get some actual detailed diagrams and or photos once I work out how to do that. Um, so some of the stuff will make a little more sense rather than me talking about it in, in a weird ramble. Um, but needless to say, we've got a five kilowatt hour battery and an inverter fully operational. Um, in the machine shed ready for the next next phase of our of our solar build out and the other battery will be going back under rma and uh, the lighter give us a credit back on that one or we'll get a replacement battery in at this stage not really sure probably um i, I kind of want a, an extra battery well definitely want an extra battery or, or three or four um but with that I, I need a rack to basically put them in to start rack rack mounting them so um, we'll just have to see how it plays out. Might get the credit back and then get another battery later. I don't know. We'll just think about that when it becomes a thing to think about. Anyway, um, what else is happening? Well, okay, since we're talking about solar, one of the things with the Delta Pro EcoFlow, and if you own an, El an EcoFlow Delta Pro, you should be aware of this, um, is the BMS, the Battery Management System module, um, is not great <laughs> to put things politely um so when i had been noticing it weird it, it was reporting that it was not losing charge but it wasn't reporting the charge accurately um is is how this actually plays out so it had 3600 watts of capacity in fact the batteries actually are rated for a little more than that i think about 3800 or so but Anyway, 3,600 watts of, of capacity, 3.6 kilowatts, um, which was fine when we, uh, when we started. Um, and um, it, it's not in the manuals, of course. It's not anywhere in the frequently asked questions and all that kind of stuff. You kind of got to poke around the internet and 
see how people have actually dealt with this. So long story short, you do need to do a full, you know, 100 to, to nothing um, power cycle on the on the EcoFlow, otherwise it, the BMS loses track of accurately how much charge it actually has. Um, so I've been kind of half mathing it, but we've been getting solar in and we've, we haven't really had an issue with, with, with power, um, but the proof was in the pudding. I, I, I ran this thing down to zero and it still kept supplying power and it kept going and going and going. Um, and it turns out that in actual fact, it's only been reporting about two thirds of the, of the battery capacity. Um, that's how bad it, it had actually gotten. So we've actually been kind of operating within the, within the apps parameters and really only been using two thirds of, of our battery, um, which you know, goes without saying that you know, we really haven't had too many problems. Uh, in fact, no, uh, no issues at all, but have been operating at diminished capacity, um, probably a bit like my, my general mental intellect, always operating at diminished capacity. Um, I can't attribute that to alcohol anymore. But the, uh, <laughs> anyway, long story short, um, we've done some resets on the BMS. And that's a long and painful process because you need to bring the battery up to 100% and you need to bring it all the way down again. But it kind of worked out because we had the new EG4 and it, it slurps, you know, quite a bit of, quite a bit of power. So um, the generator has been unfortunately working a little extra, extra overtime because cloudy weather and solar is not really going to do it in a, in a short period of time. Um, and also do need to watch with these things that you know when you do when you do drive them hard with the inverters then this is all this is the same with all the all-in-ones um, if they're doing too much they, they generate a lot of heat and heat is not not good um, so you, you have to kind of be be a little a little cautious but anyway um, over the last uh, few days we've been cycling the eco flow up to 100% and bringing it back down again to 0% and then doing a hard reset on it which is tricky and I'll probably do a short video on this but there's a guy that I found who's, who's done it on, on his one he was uh, one of the guys who's on my, on my subscribe list actually because he has a, uh, an eco flow delta pro as well and kind of doing doing similar things and his, his videos are actually pretty pretty good he does time tests and shows all the stats and stuff but anyway um you, you've got to drain it down and then you've got to press the press the hard button down for about 10 seconds and give it 15 minutes for the bms to kind of think about life the universe and everything for a while and then bring it back up and i don't know that you think you can completely accurately um reset this um this is just one of those things with cutting edge technology that they haven't quite sorted it out. Um, and, and, you know, and don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of the uh, Delta Pro. Massive, massive fan. They're amazing devices, but they are, they are a new breed of, of device. And, you know, it's not like, you know, cutting edge te technology, but it has certainly got a little, a little room for improvement, shall we say particularly in the uh, software, um, firmware department. But anyway, um, we're just cycling it down now. Um, this will be the second time, I think. First one didn't really count because we were trying to measure it. So this will be the second time. And it's actually looking looking like it's actually running again well. So um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just see how we go. If you are watching this and you do own an EcoFlow Delta Pro, one thing to watch or just 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 to, to prove it out for yourself um, is, is do do let your unit um, run down to whatever the bottom level is that you've, you've set it at, 0 to 100. Um, and if it goes down to the bottom level, um, ours actually only doesn't actually go to 0, it goes to 1. Um, just let it go and see if it actually continues to provide power. If it continues to provide power, it means that your BMS needs a reset. That's the bottom line with that one um a lot of bottom lines today um so yeah so today 
Rambler's Mora Solar. Yay for extra battery capacity and working inverter and not unlimited power for the for the for the chickens and the and the guineas. Um, but certainly um, that five kilowatt hour battery will will run that heating pad without me having to do anything for um, gosh um, two and a half days maybe three days um, depending on, on power power draw because it does does fluctuate a little bit um, and, and that's a 66 watt heating pad so you know th there's it's it's pretty nice. <laughs> That's all I can say. And I'm looking forward to adding another battery or three to it. So it'll be it'll be it'll be great. Um, but anyway, back to back to resetting BMSs and and probably going to run the generator to get this one charged up today because it's cloudy as all get out. We've got a few days of sun sunshine coming up, but I just want to make sure that this this Delta Pro is actually working properly. And um, yeah, hope you all have a great Sunday, wherever you may be. You may have already been, but it is what it is. Take care, chat again soon. Bye-bye.